what I'll do is I'll just give a brief statement and then you can ask questions after that. But that's it, everyone. My voice is fairly low, so you might have to adjust the uh, sound. And I'm, if you don't already, if you haven't already met me, Detective Superintendent Cameron Harsley, Child Safety Director and um, Operations Manager for Child Safety Sexual Crimes Group. Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, this week is uh, a week which uh, Task Force Argos and the Queensland Police Service is very grateful for. We're currently hosting um, officers from other jurisdictions which include Western Australia, Northern Territory, South Australia, Tasmania, Australia Federal Police and more importantly um, two officers from the Singapore Police Force. Uh, this week is a course which Task Force Argos is leading and running. Uh, the course is designed to improve and build capability within policing to investigate, detect and solve online crimes against children. The course itself has a high degree of skill and knowledge to complete and more importantly we are sharing our knowledge and our skill base across other jurisdictions to attack what we see as a global issue. What's the Um, predominantly this crime class is a global crime class in, in that I say that um, people from across the world, wherever you have computers, you'll have this type of crime prove, um, existing. So um, what we're trying to do is build capacity within other countries to help us detect and solve this type of crime. So Singapore police themselves are here this week to build their capacity in regard to detection of online offences against children. So Singapore is in a hub though, in terms of, we're not seeing more cases related to Singapore at all, it's just that it's just one other jurisdiction. It's it just one other jurisdiction, it's a large jurisdiction. Um, it has uh, obviously a, a network or a gateway as you'd like to Asia. So it uh, is an area that we're very keen to focus on. Any new trends emerging? Um, I think what we're finding now is that um, people with this unsavoury interest towards children are starting to engage in what we will call innocent websites to then try and contact children through. So by, by innocent websites I mean family orientated websites or websites which you would not think child pornography or child exploitation material as we call it would exist but it's an avenue for accessing children or family contacts through um, normal activity websites. I know you don't like to name the websites, but can you be a little bit more specific about what kinds of websites you're talking I th about? Well, the danger for websites is if you have a website where you're exposing any personal details, i.e. where you live, details of your children, and easy access of those details, then they are targets. Social networking or social, social networking sites, um, predominantly. How is this different to anything else in Australia? Um, Australia is a very different place. Um, Task Force Argos is the leader in Australia and also nationally. Um, the methodologies that we're using at the moment, I think, are very effective. Um, we used to have a minimal hit rate. Our hit rate at Task Force Argos now is 85% plus when we're online. Um, have any other police um, services in Australia done something like this? No. We're the first one, yes. What do you mean by 85% hit rate? Uh, when we talk about hit rates is um, you can get online and you can engage with um, potential offenders or people online and often those people online will not um, engage enough to commit an offence or they may not be grooming children. But the methodologies we're using now when one of our law enforcement participants jumps online tonight, within a very short period of time, he will have engaged somebody trying to groom a child online. And that engagement 
traditionally used to take a series of engagements online. We're getting so effective now, what we're finding is our officers are online for very short periods of time, five or ten minutes, and they've engaged somebody with an unsavoury interest towards children. Does that suggest that not only are you getting better, but there are a lot more of them? I think the use of the internet, there's a volume issue there. I think also the other issue too is um, people engaging in online activity uh, towards children seem to think they're not going to get caught still. Can I just say from the outset that if you're online and you're engaging with activity towards grooming children for an unsavoury purpose, it's not a matter of if we catch you, it's a matter of when we will catch you now. Can you give us an indication of, of say, the growth <coughs> in the last five years in this sort of activity? Um, I will, I'll probably just allude to this, that online activity that we have at Argos, we predominantly may have had 30 to 50 targets. We can generate hundreds of targets now across the world. Can you put that in the contacts? Like, so generating contacts, what, what, what does that mean exactly? Um, in a context, I'll put it on the, online um, in this term. If we were to jump online now, within five or ten minutes, we'd probably engage with somebody who wanted, wants to groom a child or trade child exploitation material with us. Can you, can you I know you can't tell us much, but give us an indication of what sort of methods you are using to catch these guys out? Yes, while we're online as act, um, doing activity, um, it's a uh, known fact that we uh, use um, pseudonyms to, as children. Um, we're having a more and more trend as public awareness has come forward that um, the members of the community are coming forward with um, details of people that have tried to engage their children online. Um, so often we will take over the accounts of those children and then re-engage the person who was originally targeted that child. Um, so community support in that regard has been very helpful of late, um, which we appreciate. Are parents generally aware that this sort of thing could happen to their children? I think community awareness is something we have to continually push. Um, we have had many awareness campaigns previously but still, I would encourage parents, if you have a child with a computer and online, you need to take a very active interest on a daily basis about what your child is doing online. Are there any particular styles of gaming sites that are being used? Um, what we're finding, there's a trend where we will find a, uh, I suppose, a forum that is used by children, a trend, I suppose you'd call. Um, Predators online very quickly are becoming tuned to those forums. Uh, what is a trend this week will not be a trend next week because not only will the children move to another site, but also the offenders move to other sites. Are these offenders, generally speaking, if they get the kid, are they going to commit a crime or, is, or do they get off on the fact that they're just talking to them? What we're finding in Argos at the moment is at about 80% of the people that are engaging in on online activity will be contact offenders. By that I mean they're trying to get to a child to commit a real live offence against that child. How many people are you like, nabbing per week? Or do you figure like that or per month? Uh, well, probably more importantly, instead of the arrest of people is the identification of child victims. So this year so far we've identified 18 child victims, ten, 10 of those children have been in Queensland. <coughs> well this year so far as I've said within Queensland we've identified and proactively removed 10 children from harm. That's a huge majority in Queensland compared to the rest of Australia. Well most of our activity has been targeted within Queensland, although we look at activity worldwide um, last year we had a number of referrals to other countries, including Russia. We had one referral where 12 children were identified in Russia. So we identified children in other countries, which we will share that information with other law enforcement participants in other countries. But also our focus is on making sure children within Queensland are safe. 
and this year that's led to 10 children being removed from harm. So that's 10 children that otherwise we would not know about are being offended against. So does that mean that there's been 10 people charged? Yes. With children that are offended against, uh, traditionally people think that it's a stranger. Well, it's often not a stranger. It's often somebody within the family unit or a family friend or somebody who is engaged in activity to build a relationship with a child in a short period of time for the purpose of offending against that child. So most of those children, well, I'll say 100% of those children that are offended against, their offender had a relationship of types with them identified those children That's by correct. photographs? By photographs. So the, the offence there was the, the person known to the child was then putting the material on the internet which you were able to... That's correct. Right. They were sharing that material with other people with an interest in child exploitation material and some of that material was shared with law enforcement participants such as ourselves. Once we gain those images we have now in Argos got a victim identification unit which is now full time and the job of that unit is to actually identify those children from that photo. Do these people make money from sharing this material? No. It's, it's for a personal gain. Okay, is that about it? Um, yeah, so, is, so do you think that the number of victims is increasing or decreasing? I think um, I can't give a number, are they increasing or decreasing, because how do we know the number that we don't know about? There may be children out in the community or in countries now that are getting abused. But the people that you do know about, I mean, are we seeing more, I think, more arrests or less arrests? I think we're seeing more arrests because police are getting very good at this type of work. We're getting very, um, ex we're becoming better at our methodologies that we're using. Um, and also the increase in the use in the internet. We're seeing a lot of younger children using the internet all the time now. So, um, the sheer volume of use of the internet and children on the internet is also leading to more offending. And so you might have touched on this earlier, I arrived late, but what exactly is the purpose of this week's training? Is it going to be targeting any specific methodology in particular? It is. There's um, a series of methodologies that Task Force Argos have been using, we've been developing them over the years. We have found them to be very effective. So what we wish to do this week is share those methodologies with other law enforcement participants and, and forces such as Singapore and hopefully they'll leave this week with um, those skills and strategies which they can then put in place in their own jurisdictions. And what's your message to parents? Um, my main message to parents is, is quite simple. Know what your children are doing all the time. If you don't know, ask the question. If you're allowing your child on the internet you're opening the front door of your house. 